questions I get most often it comes from patients that come in saying they're fatigued. They're so tired and they immediately think, gosh, this has got to be thyroid. That's a real misconception because it's not just thyroid out there. But let me tell you this, this is probably the most important thing an endocrinologist can know and yet they don't read this book. It's called The Safe Uses of Cortisol. It's by William McKay Jeffries. He's an MD, but he really has his PhD in physiology also. He is one of the two that discovered cortisol back in the 1940s, and they call it hormone F. He recounts this history of uh, why cortisol is never looked at as a potential therapeutic. It turns out that in the 50s, <clears throat> uh, after they had discovered hormone F, they um, began to give it to everybody. They had these rheumatoids, people in wheelchairs would get up and they'd walk and it was just miraculous, this miraculous drug. But then within the next three to four years, the literature became replete with patients that bled out and they would have hemorrhages and strokes. So they quit using substance F for replacement altogether. In his book, he describes the, the sequence of events and he was very adamant that just because it had these side effects doesn't mean we shouldn't use it. And that it turns out that cortisol is like thyroid, needs to be supplemented if it's low. But it is true that low cortisol levels correspond to really poor energy levels, much like low thyroid. What he found with replacing the adrenal deficit with cortisol is that these patients do much better. They heal faster, they feel better, their energy level comes up. Some of them, crazily enough, that have had problems with getting pregnant were actually able to get pregnant. And that's not an unknown phenomenon. I have also seen that in my practice inadvertently. The cortisol release is always in the middle of the night because cortisol's job is not only anti-inflammatory, there's also a blood sugar regulation. In the middle of the night, it's been a long time since you had supper, so the brain needs sugar. So the brain tells the adrenals, hey, I'm hungry. So the adrenals release cortisol somewhere between midnight and 2 a.m and the cortisol goes over to the liver and it releases glycogen, which is a bunch of chained together sugars. The body chops that chain up and feeds the brain until morning. And what you will see on a normal salivary test where you test the cortisol levels, in the morning it's very high, and as soon as you eat breakfast, and it will go down, and then it will bump back up the next night. And that's your normal diurnal pattern for adrenal secretion of cortisol. Many times when I just look at that and supplement with a very tiny dose of cortisol, the energy level comes up, they sleep better at night, they feel better during the day. That's what I have to say about adrenal function and cortisol. Fascinating field, completely untapped and unused, sadly.